Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to talk to you briefly about a couple of uh, pieces of furniture I acquired uh, in the last year and one of them today uh, made by the Troutman Chair Company. Um, they are a small family owned company uh, based in North Carolina. They've been in business since 1924 and they've been family owned the entire time. So of course USA made, uh, handmade, old world kind of uh, um, construction ethos, I guess. Um, I'm loving it. And I wanted to tell you guys about it. Now, the first one is the one I'm sitting in here. Uh, this is called their Martha Washington chair. Uh, this is, uh, let's see if I can raise it up so you can see the bottom part of it there. This is what would have been called a dressing chair um, back in the day because uh, you would it's got these, these racks where you could hang your clothing over the back of it uh, and hang things on these knobs so that your clothes are laid out to get dressed the next day. Um, it looks probably not real comfortable, but if you need to sit at a desk and you need like really good posture, um, it's actually very comfortable. The, um, the seat is kind of this formed wood and um, so that's very comfortable to sit in. It's a, a nice height from the floor. I put these little feet on it from Home Depot, uh, rubber feet. Um, I bought this initially as a chair to sit in to practice guitar, uh, but even though I love the chair, it's just too straight to sit in comfortably for a long time. I found myself kind of doing this and then doing that and then doing this and it was kind of defeating the whole purpose of having a chair to um to sit in comfortably with good posture so um while i still love this chair and i'm going to keep it i got something else which i picked up today let's open it up so i'm going to move this over here Let's dig into this bag here. Let's see what we got. They were nice enough at the store to wrap it up for me. That's pretty cool. So this is the next excursion into Troutman chairs. And it doesn't look like much. In fact, the lady at the store described it as a child's chair. But I took measurements from the seat to the floor. And it is the appropriate height for because your legs should be at about 90 degrees. When you're sitting in it, your knees should, and uh, it's a it's appropriate size for an adult. And this is called their Aunt Annie Rocker. And it has no um, armrests, which makes it perfect for sitting in to play guitar. And now I can kind of lean myself back while I play and still have my back supported, maybe not my full back because it only comes up to about here, but I can have my back supported. And if I get a little fidgety or restless in one position, I can always rock. So pretty cool. Now they do make full size. In fact, what Troutman is most known for is their full size rocking chairs with a uh, wider seat, full back, armrest, the whole bit. And they are exceedingly well made, but um, that was more than I needed, number one, because of space constraints, and number two, because I'd be hitting my guitar on those uh, armrests. So that this actually will work out perfectly for me. I still can do my blue chair videos when I perform music for you guys, and uh, I'm excited about that. And when I want it out of the way, I can put it over here by my instruments, or I can stick it over here in the corner. And it's not taking up a lot of space. It's there when I need it. It's perfect for my, perfect for my needs. So there you go. Uh, the latest addition to the living quarters of Mr. Wolf courtesy of Troutman Chairs. I'm going to leave a link down in the description uh, to their website where you can check out their products. I highly recommend them. The build quality is awesome. 
um, and they will they don't sell direct unfortunately you'll have to find a, a distributor i went to a place called southern hospitality i think they have a few other um, places furniture distributors that carry their products so just check their website put in your zip code that's how i found found one i drive about 45 minutes each way to get it but uh and they aren't cheap i mean i think these each of these were about two or three hundred dollars a piece but they're handmade they're american made they're built to last they'll probably last last the rest of my life and uh i got them in this great navy color because i'm always kind of blue here uh and uh yeah uh, I'm really excited about that. Now they have uh, like more traditional transparent wood stains where you can see the grain of the wood. They also have other painted finishes and colors that you can choose from. So there's a lot of options. That's something else. I mean, it's not like just going to the store and you get what you get. You can really kind of customize them to your personal decor. So they go great in here. The walls are kind of this, uh, this slate gray color in here and um, you know, I've got this brown uh, bedding and the blue chairs fit perfectly aside from all the jazz, obvious jazz references. One other thing I did want to say about this Martha Washington chair, even though it didn't work out for me as a guitar player, I think this, I used to play the trumpet and I think for a wind instrument player, like a saxophone or trumpet players, clarinet, whatever. I think this would be a great chair for uh, a wind instrument player, simply because, sorry, I've got some allergies from unpacking all this stuff, simply because it keeps your posture really where it should be without feeling like it's uncomfortably doing it. It just kind of naturally puts you in a good posture to play a wind instrument. And I really, really like that. Um, so just keep that in mind um, for that one. And then once again for this, don't let its diminutive size fool you. I'll come back a little bit here. This is an adult size chair even though it's scaled down and it's perfect for playing guitar. So um, I want to tell you guys, I spent, I spent most of the last year, this is going to sound crazy, but I spent most of the last year trying to find a chair suitable for playing and practicing guitar for long hours. And cause all I had before was my bed to sit on. And even though my bed's amazing, it's not great for sitting and there's no support for your back and you've got your, your posture is bad and there's no real place to put your music. You can't use a stand and it's just a mess. Um, I looked at custom guitar, guitar chairs, which were even more expensive than these and really kind of had less to offer in terms of versatility. I looked at uh, drum thrones. Uh, I looked at you know, bar stools of various kinds uh, and heights. Um, I tried all these things out, you know, bar chairs, cushioned bar chairs. I looked at all kinds of stuff and nothing really was appropriate for my needs. And so I'm really, really happy that I found this because I think this is gonna be great. I can tell you that just sitting here in a neutral position, I already feel comfortable to play. I could put a guitar in my lap and I feel like I could play for hours like this because I'm not trying to sit up too much where I want to kind of slouch. I can kind of lean back. If that gets uncomfortable, I can adjust my position through the range of the rocker and get to a place that's comfortable and continue playing. And I can even rock in time to whatever music I'm playing if I want. So these chairs, just to give you a little history on them, these particular rocking chairs uh, are called um, uh, nursing rockers uh, or porch rockers uh, because uh, they were commonly used by nursing women to nurse babies. 
They didn't have to worry about bonking the baby on the armrest. It gave them a little room to move around, to reach into the crib or what have you. Uh, and they're also, like I said, they call them porch rockers because they're great for sitting on the porch and playing the guitar. Um, so if you're looking for a comfortable chair to practice guitar in uh, and you're willing to spend a few hundred dollars to get something that's going to last for a while and not take up a lot of space, highly recommend the Aunt Annie chair from Troutman. Once again, Guys, thanks for checking in. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for your support. More content to come. Uh, now that I have a chair to practice in, I'll be digging in a lot more to some jazz. I've got a number of standards in various stages of memorization and completion, so I'll be posting some more of that. I'm also going to do a recut of Satin Doll with the proper introduction. <laughs> I finally found one that has it, so uh, look for that. And um, I, I, may be, uh, I may be putting some teaching stuff up. You guys will have to give me some feedback and let me know what you think of it. But um, one of my big problems as a, a guitarist generally and a jazz musician specifically has been a continual struggle to figure out what works as a systematic approach for learning uh, chord progressions, chord shapes, scales, the cycle of fifths, um, all those kinds of things, or cycle of fourths, depending on which direction you're going. And uh, so I have some things that I have been using recently, and I'm finding that there are a lot of ways that I can apply them. And it might be useful to some of you. So I may be putting some of that stuff together in uh, the coming year and putting some of that out. Hopefully uh, you will find it beneficial. So. Uh, if you are a guitar player or a musician, please subscribe and uh, look for that content. I'll continue to be posting some stuff on uh, men's products, reviews. Um, I've got some content coming on my new watch. Uh, it should be up by the time this video goes up. I'm trying to keep them in order. But uh, Baltic Aquascaf um, dive watch that I got recently and that I really, really, really love. Um, so... That's it, guys. Thanks for your support. Smash the like button and subscribe, and I will dig you on the flip. Later.